got hummus, I've got pretzel chips, I've got aloe vera drink, I've gotten in my front seat. I haven't got a destination. I should probably route one. I've lost my keys. <laughs> wow, I was so convinced I was gonna get on the road really fast. What's happening? Made it approximately five minutes, but I'm passing this park that looks really nice to sit at. And I realized that I haven't had coffee and it looks like there's it's big and open and there's not a lot of people, but also the shade. I really, you know, I never thought I had anxiety because I always felt this way and just quashed it, you know? Like I do, I still do that. Like that's what I'm doing right now. But I now, I, now I'm online and I have to say things out loud. I didn't have a way to communicate how I feel to you guys. I just, I was like, oh, like, I'll, maybe I'll just name it anxiety. And now I'm realizing that I, it, it is anxiety. <laughs> that is what it is. I just had never named it before. So thank you guys for helping me self-diagnose. <laughs> We're in this journey together, but yeah, this feeling happens. End of sentence. This feeling just happens. It is what it is. Yeah, anyway. That had, I don't know. I the, the only reason I turned the camera on was to tell you that I'm stopping at a park and I'm going to make coffee because I haven't had coffee today. <gasps> okay, here we go. When coffee does like the puffy thing, can you see that? It looks like a coffee marshmallow. Hey guys, please excuse me while I take a call with my therapist and let me talk to you about the sponsor for this video, which is BetterHelp. As you've probably noticed, I tend to have anxiety pretty frequently. It's nothing debilitating, but it's definitely something that's a regular in my day-to-day -day life. Over the years, I've had therapists for different reasons. Sometimes it's depression, sometimes it's relationships, and sometimes it's just for plain old venting. But I've found that they've always been pretty hard to maintain with my current lifestyle since I travel and hop around so much. That's where BetterHelp comes in. BetterHelp is an online counseling service that matches you with your own licensed professional therapist. Signing up is easy and I actually really like that they take you through a personalized survey to help find a therapist that best suits your needs and circumstances. If you happen to match with someone who just isn't your jam, that's no problem. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating the best matches they can and make it easy and free to change counselors if needed. Their service is available worldwide and you can log on to your account anytime to send a message to your therapist. They have a really simple to use app so you can use your voice or video call from both your laptop or your phone. If you think this is something that might be a good fit for you, visit betterhelp.com slash Hannah Lee. That's better H E L P dot com slash H A N N A H L E E and you'll receive 10% off your first month sign up. Okay, we've I have a two hour drive to a campsite I found in the middle of Florida. I don't know what it is, where it is, what. It's just some coordinates. I'm gonna be in the middle of nowhere. I'm so excited. God, you'd think I'd know by now. How many times have I said this in every each video? I'm like, I gotta leave. There's too many people out here. I gotta go. I need to be alone. nice hello <laughs> I have arrived at a campsite actually I'm not actually at a campsite I am um, 
parked in a grassy area because I drove up to the campsite and a lot of the campsites seemed to be full, which I was not expecting. It's a Monday night. Yeah, I forgot that I shouldn't arrive places after dark because it's very hard to figure out if there's anywhere to sleep, where the, what the terrain is like. I had my headlights in all people's campsites and I felt really bad and just, I kind of panicked and drove away and now I'm slightly outside of the campground in a grassy patch. I'm gonna sleep here tonight because, uh, doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, you got to. I don't want you to do what you want, but you Cause I'm so over you. Friendly leveled up now. I got jets on my back. Everything I do, outrageous. You wanna know what I got at the thrift store? Seven of these. They're napkins, definitely, but. They're kinda cute. Maybe I'll edit for a little bit. Oh my god, can you imagine, like, being on top of my shit for once? I could do that. I think. I'm not sure. It's been such a nice morning. <gasps> Woke up to the rain. I'm not actually sure I like this camp spot that much. It's pretty, don't get me wrong. It's like really pretty, but I feel like all the campsites are right on top of each other. Like they're right next to each other and that's just not my favorite. So I think for tomorrow night or tonight, I'd rather find another camp spot where it's a little more dispersed, but we'll see what I can find. I'll see you in a second. Oh my gosh. I kind of forgot about the beach, to be completely honest. So here I am. Also, the West Coast is like, I don't, I don't know. I've heard that the sand, like the beaches are all super white. And people who were telling me that were not lying. It is beautiful. I don't really want to leave, but I also forgot to eat lunch. <laughs> I think it's like two o'clock. And also I have taxes to do. I think we need to just take a look around here really quick because, oh my god, the moon. Oh. <laughs> the sky is purple. You know, here's the thing. I was in the city and now all of a sudden I'm here. Feels good. Feels really good. <laughs> I'm going to make spring rolls. Life is good. 
I know I say that like every single time I find anywhere nice to park, but life is really good when you can find a place to park. Oh, it's just nice. I think I need to make my second one and close up shop. What is going on? Life in the van just goes from being kind of meh to kind of what? Every other freaking day, I love it. Also, this is my filming setup, by the way. Hot dang if there's not a lot of ups and downs every day in life, always, but um, very specifically in the van. I mean, my job is social media, right? So checking social media stuff, posting all the time. I get really like aimless feeling and empty feeling. And then, and then I find places like this where there's nobody and there's no service and there's no, it's just me. And as much as I'm still talking to a camera or filming or setting up shots, this feeling of creativity and excitement about, oh my God, look at this freaking crazy beautiful place. There's nobody here. There's so much relief in people not being around. <laughs> Which is probably why I live in a cabin in the woods. I really like to just be able to be. I don't want to glamorize the, the like stuff that's outside of this because this is not all the time. This is a lot. I, I try to find this as much as possible, but there's a whole lot of days in between finding stuff like this. Yeah, I just, um, I'm trying to like retain this morning because it feels really good. Like really, really good. Anyway. Every video, I need to reiterate, not everything's magic all the time. No matter where you travel, your brain is always going to be with you. Even if I stayed here for the next week, at some point, my brain is going to come back, you know, and it's going to it's gonna find the problems that I was already having, whether I was here or not. So 
this isn't a permanent it's just it's a temporary you can't run away from your problems you can't run away like if you have depression if you have anxiety if you have whatever don't think that jumping in a van or traveling to the other side of the world is going to change that for you because it's always going to catch up even if it feels like you left it behind in the first week two weeks month whatever it's going to catch up it's going to find you and it's it, that's okay <laughs> but you just need to be aware of it because that way you're ready for it when it does come and you know how to cope with it. Ah, today is such a good day. It's like the perfect temperature. The sun is shining. I feel good. My mental health is nice. It's sweet. It's a little bit better. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, do you have hitchhikers here? Like, we're in the middle of nowhere and it's dark out. I feel really like the whole like a zombie. You have an alligator couple. So, her her name is Mama, and then his name is Loose Screw slash Snaggletooth. Well, so there's alligators up in the front, and they're like sketchy ones. I prefer not to hang out with them. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> sorry, I look ooh, so great. I kind of left you guys hanging. I ran around all day, nothing very exciting. I am currently in the Everglades, met up with a, a new friend. That's where I am. <laughs> I ended up meeting up tonight and I followed her down and now we're at her family's property. I'm gonna spend the next like couple days here and hang out and explore the swampy areas. I'm very excited to see alligators. Apparently they have two. <laughs> they have a, a resident couple. It's really late and I'm super tired so I'm gonna go to sleep and I will tell you guys more in the morning and you will see. You will see what is happening. <laughs> anyway, I will talk to you guys in the morning. Good night. <laughs>